Hello everyone, in virtual production, if you need camera movement, then you need tracking and positioning equipment, which allows the virtual camera in the virtual scene to synchronize the movement of the camera. This S8 binocular camera is very cost-effective and lowers the threshold of tracking cameras. The working principle is similar to T265, both through visual positioning. Unlike T265, S80 can identify feature points. When working, obvious markers such as QR codes and other feature points are placed in the viewing angle of the camera, and its accuracy and frame rate are higher, and it is more convenient to use. There is no need to build a work area, and it can be set up in a few minutes. The difference between S80 and DS80 is that DS80 has depth information, but at present this function has not been perfected. As more positioning devices, the effect is the same. The following demonstrates the performance of different lens focal lengths on the slide rail and rocker arm. The following demonstrates the overall workflow in Eximetry. A lens calibration, when printing the calibration board, you need to pay attention to the accuracy and not bend, which will affect the calibration lens. After calibration, the lens file will be obtained, and it will be loaded in Eximetry later. Please watch this video for the specific process. Second, add a tracking camera to the prepared UV scene, and then bake. Three install and connect the S80, prepare a high-speed Type-C to USB 3.0 data cable of more than 5 meters to connect to the computer, download and open the folder we provided, and install the driver first. Here is a graphic instruction to open the program. The program is bound to the binocular camera device, so the first time you open it, you need to copy the device serial code to us, and then enter the returned registration code. We have made two kinds of transmission signals for different usage situations. If you are using a free version of Eximetry you can use OSC, if you are a broadcast user, you can use the FreeD protocol signal. Click on the running location data to indicate a successful connection. The next step is to set the origin, place the calibration plate flat on the machine position and move it to the ground 2 meters away, and then click on the calibration origin in the program. If the camera does not detect the calibration board and the red prompt appears, tilt your camera down so that it faces the calibration board. We also made a tracking calibration function, namely offset value calibration. Select the video source of the current camera at the bottom right of the program, and then click start calibration. Note, do not use a lens with a long focal length, and then move around the calibration board for half a circle according to the prompts. When the green is fully adjusted, the result will be automatically calculated. The numerical calculation will be slightly biased. You can also use manual measurement methods. After recording the data, you need to manually enter it into Eximetry on the delta head transfer. Note, this is in meters. Fourth, launch Eximetry and configure it. If you are using the free version or the studio version, Click on the device mapper and on the OSC server enter the same address and port as the DS80 to Eximetry software. Create a new compound project, drag the Unreal project scene in, and then drag the tracking camera node inside the folder we provided, complete the basic operations, connecting the nodes, chroma keying, etc. Then click input in the control board's window, find the calibration configuration file, 
select the corresponding lens file, refer to the first part for specific operations, and then press the switch of the DS80 module, now move the camera to set the studio work area, the parts outside the green background will be cropped. Then adjust the delay, so that the camera input and the scene are synchronized. Do a quick camera shake, then increase or decrease the tracking delay value under the DS80 tracking device module until they appear to be in sync. Now enter the offset value of the program. Now save the project, and you don't need to redo this next time. Open the project while working or click on the recent document, select the scene node, directly switch the project file to change the scene, then set the origin of the tracking device with one click. If you change the lens, just switch the lens file. If the relative position of the tracking device and the camera is not changed, the offset value does not need to be adjusted, so it only takes a few minutes to set up. I hope this tracking and positioning device can allow some friends with a small budget to experience the tracking camera of virtual production.